locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I... Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're gone. Oh, my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Think of 
gonna be sick. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since they came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. Then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Let's head back inside. Okay. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. Hmm, nothing. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. 
WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air now. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Hey, Carly. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Shit. Get down! Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Hey, 
Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. We can get that guy by the wall over there, I bet. Awesome! tissue paper. <laughs> that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking.
I hope that girl's okay. Closing in. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. out you're hurt oh god i i said stay away we need to get you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please! 
This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up. Please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no, no! no! You... <laughs> Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but... Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motorhead. How can you be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Thank you. 
vandalism. Nice. I got an idea. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? If you were there, you would have died for them. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them through all of it, that helped. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh, no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Doc, 
Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glenn, we need your help. Please hurry. Hey, Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Gee, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go. letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. That motherfucker. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, 
could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. One time, Derek and Super Dinosaur got ambushed by Squidius, but Derek had an underwater mega laser. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. I remember when I packed them up, I said, oh, these are going to be important, and Kenny will lose them, so I'll put them right in this front pocket, and then you have to go and move them. And then this one time, Derek and Super Dinosaur were ambushed by Squidius, but I Derek had an underwater mega You pay attention to where you leave things. <laughs> can, can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. And then this one time, Derek and Super Dinosaur got ambushed by Squidius. But Derek had an underwater mega laser. How you doing, Carling? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. It's not like we have much to begin with. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. It's not like we have much to begin and then with. And this one time, Derek and Super Dinosaur got ambushed by Squidius, but Derek had an underwater mega laser. Underwater mega laser. Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Hmm. You probably think I'm dumb. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. 
Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. Oh, man, check this out. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah. No. To be continued. To be continued. Shit, you died. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more! Please! No more, please! 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 <laughs> I was 54% honest of players. 47 players chose Sean. 64 players decided Kenny. Defender Kenny. 52 players decided if he's a gun. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> And that is The Walking Dead Season 1. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the adventure as much as I did. Fortunately, you're going to have to wait until the next one comes up. Y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful night. This is McDonald's Guy. I'll see you in the next episode.